Hi, I'm Lisa. I'm 26 years old and until the end of this week I was a metaphobic, which is somebody that has a big fear of being sick. I've had it since I was about six years old. Um, oh, I think around then. It, it was the same thing that many metaphobes kind of talk about, like panicky and crying around being sick. I would run out the room if somebody was ill. Sometimes I would run outside. I'd pretty much go as far away as I could. Um, if I went out to the cinema or theatre, I'd have to be sat on the end of a row. Um, just so that I was near an exit and could get out if I needed to. Um, I, I, if I went out to restaurants, I'd be really picky about what I ate. I sort of had safe foods, I guess. Um, no white meats. Um, if, the, if I did eat meat, it had to be cremated, basically. Um, I was very picky with food at home. I got to the point where I was so bad that I practically starved myself on a number of occasions. Um, I think one summer I dropped two stone in two months, so I lost a lot of weight. I just I didn't want to eat anything, just because I didn't want any food to come up. Um, it got quite. It was all right at university. I sort of enjoyed the party life, and and I know a lot of people struggle around people that drink because they throw up. I was kind of all right with it, but the minute that someone did throw up, I was gone. Like I, I could not deal with it. Um, so when I left university. Um, I went through a period of stress with different jobs and um, the problem got a lot worse. Um, I wasn't really sleeping properly, I was anxious all the time, um, I was very tired, my working hours were long and I just found the panic attacks getting a lot worse. Um, and in the end, unlike most emetophobes, I turned to drink. Um, mostly because when I was a kid, um, I was told by my parents that a shot of strong alcohol, so whiskey or brandy or something like that, um, would kill bacteria in your stomach which meant that you couldn't get sick. This is incorrect, by the way, um, but I kind of latched onto that the more panicky I got and ended up drinking um, increasingly more. It started with a couple of shots a day, moved on to maybe half a bottle every couple of days. Um, last year, it, after um, a few sort of personal issues, you know, losing my job and my grandma dying, it kind of ramped up a, a big sort of amount. Um, so I, was, I ended up drinking this much a day for the last year, so that's one 70 centilitre bottle which contains 2,800 calories uh, and over the last couple of years it's cost me about 10 grand. Um, so you can imagine I put on weight, my self esteem went down, um, I was in a bit of a mess and um, didn't know what to do. I'd known Rob for quite a few years, um, eventually told him the problem and he sent me his Cure Your Emetophobia and Thrive book which I worked through on my own for a long time had periods of getting better but didn't sustain it, didn't put the effort in and then went right back down to where I was and was drinking again and then felt even more rubbish that I was back on the drink and gave myself a really hard time. Um, got to the point where I did see Rob a couple of times but every time I left a session I would sort of put the effort in for a week and then as soon as I felt better I'd stop and you can't do that with Thrive, it's, it's a persistent effort. Um, so he kind of threatened me at the start of the year, given how long we've known each other, and said, if you are not cured by March, you are coming to live with me for a week and we'll do a boot camp with you. And that is what happened. So um, I'm at the end of my week staying with Rob. Um, I rocked up on Sunday and the first thing he did was to pour my bottle of whiskey away. Um, I'd already had a fair amount of it and was really hungover. And ironically, for an emetophobe on an emeto camp, I threw up three times that day for about the first time in five years. Um, and although I panicked at first, by the third time I just realised it really wasn't as bad as I had made it out to be. So that was quite a big milestone for day one. The rest of the week it was a case of setting personal challenges, like trying to get me out of my comfort zone, build my locus of control. So he made me fly his plane with him, that, that was scary. Um, he made me climb a 300 foot tower. And in between all these challenges we were um, sort of reiterating the theories of Thrive, going through some of the concepts. Um, talking about where I'd gone wrong in the past. I mean, he didn't really teach me anything I hadn't learned already. Um, it was just I wasn't doing it. And I think that's what we figured out over this week, is that I just hadn't put enough work in. So for all of this week, Rob and I worked together and we made sure that I did thrive every second, every minute, every hour of every day, religiously. And, I mean, I was dubious when I arrived here for this boot camp about whether it would work, but the improvement I've seen in five days just proves how when you put the effort in, the programme really does work. Um, so I can now proudly say that I, since Sunday, have not drunk a drop, so that's five days sober now, I think, um, and I'm completely emetophobia free um, and loving it. It's amazing. Um, I actually woke up this morning feeling a little bit nauseous, and rather than doing my usual panic, run around the house, run into the garden, I just sat downstairs calmly, told myself I could deal with it if it happened. It was probably just anxiety, but if it wasn't, I could cope with it. 
and within five ten minutes I felt heaps better, went back to bed, went back to sleep. Um, in fact, I'm so good this week that for the first time in about four or five years, I've slept through the night for the last, yeah, last two nights, which is a relief more than anything because I was exhausted. And I think when you're drinking as much as I drank and you're tired because you're not sleeping and you're anxious all the time, like life just turns into a bit of a muddle. So um, yeah, I can, like I said, I can now say that I'm fully thriving and love it. Um, I went to dinner with a friend last night and she just couldn't believe the difference in four or five days. Um, she said I was positive and happy and completely anxiety free and she just, she didn't understand how it had happened but something had completely changed and I just feel so totally different. I just feel brilliant. And I know now that if I go home from here and I stop putting effort in again, um, I'll slide right back down to where I was. Um, because for your thinking starts to change and to become habitual, you really have to put sustained effort in and that's completely where I went wrong. Um, and if you have a little blip just to pick yourself up and move on and not sit and catastrophize and brood about it and make yourself feel miserable, which is what I did all the time. So I've now learned all the skills that I need and I know that I can go away from here and I can keep getting better and better and better at managing my thinking so that even if I do have a tiny wobble, I can recover. Um, yeah, so the only other thing I would say is um, you don't need a boot camp to do what I did. Um, Rob doesn't normally do this, but because I was a long-standing friend and my issue was a bit complicated with the drinking, he decided that a, um, a more measured approach was necessary. Um, but you can do it with the book on your own. I did it a couple of times on my own, and as long as you put effort in, then you, it's, it's really, the book's really simple and structured to follow, you know what you have to do, it tells you at every stage of the book the exercises that you need to be doing. Um, so as long as you follow them and you do them religiously, and I think pretty much every other Emetophobe video has, has kind of said the same thing, as long as you do everything that the book says and you do it for six, eight, ten weeks, you will notice such a huge difference and you'll just feel completely free of it. And, you know, I, I'm just so excited now to get back to, like, normal life and but to live it and be different and to actually be properly thriving like I am now. So um, if you're struggling like I did, buy the book, do it at home, get a consultant, have a Skype session, do whatever you need, but you can do it on your own and it makes such a world of difference. So... Um, Thank you for watching my video and I really hope that everyone else can do what I did. <laughs>